Today we're going to do a Photoshop tutorial. We're going to start with this picture, a wall picture. We're going to knock down this wall, put a different background in, and then put someone inside the room. Let's have a look at the final product. This is what we will be creating. And it's uh, pretty simple. Three layers, one effect, and that's it. Okay, first thing I want you to do is right click on your wall picture, open with Adobe Photoshop CS5 or CS6. Okay, let's hit Control plus to zoom in. What we need to do is knock down this wall first. Before we do anything, we need to right click our layer, layer from background, because it's locked. We need to unlock it. Let's call this room. Hit OK. On the left hand side, let's get the eraser tool out and let's start erasing this wall here. I'm going to right click the screen, make the eraser a little bit bigger, a little bit more, and now I'm going to start erasing this part here. Remember, if you make a mistake, like that. Hold Control Alt Z to go back. I think you can go back roughly 10 moves. I'm going to zoom in here, Control Plus, and I'm going to just start erasing this section here. So go ahead, start erasing, be as careful as you can, especially around here. You don't want to get rid of the brick wall. Um, that's the wall of the room. You want to get rid of the exterior. Okay, uh, that's basically it. That's the finished product. That's what you want. Let's fix up a couple of other areas here. Okay, that looks okay. Um, that's the basic result you want. Okay, just control minus control plus to zoom in and out. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is get a picture to put behind here. So let's go over to Google Images. And what I'm going to do, I'm in Google Images, I've just typed in rainforest. You could put in desert, you could put in anything you want. You could put in, um, you know, shopping mall, whatever you want to be the background of your Photoshop image, you do that. I'm just going to pick this image right here, right click. What I want you guys to do is copy the image, go over to your Photoshop and Control V should paste it in. If that didn't work, go back, right click, copy. Okay, uh, on Windows it should be copy. Now that it's in our Photoshop canvas, what we want to do is resize it. So hit Control T on your keyboard and resize it from these anchor points. Make it cover that gap there. And then hit Enter. If you don't like what you did, hit Escape, it will go back to where it was. So Escape will cancel, Enter will save it. So I'm going to hit Enter now. Next thing we want to do is put this behind our wall. So I'm going to drag that layer down. Now if you want to move it, move it around. I'm going to move it about there and then stretch it out a bit. That's it, that looks good for me, I like that. I'm going to rename my layer, I'm going to right click um, Actually, no, just double click in there, or one click in there, and then call it background. Okay, we're almost done. What we want to do is add a little glow to the room, sort of like sunlight coming in. So, what I want you to do is right click on your room, right click, and go to blending options. 
when you're in blending options, you want to go to a uh, blending style called Outer Glow. Outer Glow. Now, once you're in Outer Glow, you'll see what effect we're trying to create. We're going to create a little glow here. Now, depending on what background you have, you're going to change the color of your glow to suit that background. Now, for this picture, what I'm going to do is just increase the size and then decrease the opacity. That's not bad. And then let's change the color. I don't want yellow. Green may be what I want. Nah, maybe white. Yeah, white looks pretty good. I'll change the opacity down a little bit more. And that's pretty cool. I'm going to hit OK on that. So if you can see, it's got a nice little glow there. It kind of looks like sunlight is hitting the water and reflecting up to the room. OK, last thing we're going to do is put someone in this room. So I'm just going to go back to Google Images. I've already typed in man standing. If you type in woman standing, uh, what we're looking for is a person, full body, and a white background because they're the easiest backgrounds to get rid of. I'm going to choose uh, man standing. You can choose woman standing. Remember, we want a white background. When you're happy with that image, right click on it, go copy image. Oh, and make sure there's no um, writing over the top. Get an image that's clean, even if you don't like the look of the person, as long as there's no nothing else except white surrounding him. I'm going to get this one here. Once you copy it, Control V to paste it in. Now, this is where we're going to use the magic wand. As long as you have um, copied a clear white background picture, we can go up to this tool here, the magic wand tool. So I just right click the fourth tool down and then select magic wand. With this tool, we can click on the white area and then just hit delete. Now we still have something selected, so we need to unselect that. Get the selection tool, the second one, and just click outside. And now we've unselected that. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to get the moving tool, and I'm just going to move him somewhere where I want him to be. Um, uh, maybe here, right there. That's pretty good. Now you can end it there. There are other things we can do, but basically that is the end of the Photoshop tutorial. Um, another thing we could do is go to Image Adjustments, Brightness Contrast, and also um, Match Color. So if we go to Brightness and Contrast, we can dim him down to make him look like he's in a darker room. Okay, that's one thing we can do. Another thing we can do is image adjustments. We can go down to match color and we can try and match the color of the layer man to a different layer. So we can say the source is our Photoshop image and which layer do we want to match? We want to match maybe the room. And that's a bit too much. I mean, he's, he's gone too the color has been desaturated too much so what we're going to do we're going to bring that back up a little bit and there we go and that's looking a little bit better so maybe a bit more fade there we go hit ok on that and we're done we're just going to save it file save as now remember if you want to continue editing your photoshop canvas keep it as a format photoshop but if you're done and you want to upload it on Facebook or you want to actually use it as an image, then we have to change this to either a JPEG or PNG file. I like PNG file, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to call this wall smashed. 
and hit save. Hit save again. And let's have a look at our final product. There it is.